as I met, I will speak in English for the benefit of the few. At least there are the few here to understand what we did. I stand on the protocols as established earlier, and I thank you most profoundly, especially the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. President Muhammad Buhari, for standing firm and providing good leadership in Nigeria in these hard times that indeed is globally a challenge. We are able to weather the storm despite the fact that it was a contest, but yet we agreed to work together and produce this leadership that worked so hard to produce the result that convinced the good people of Bombay State to the extent that today we are competing with no other person than my only self. I'm the only competitor in this because already you've established that we as a people and as a government and as a party are working as a team and we have delivered on the mandate given to us and we shall continue to deliver as long as we work together to the benefit of our people and the benefit of the entire people of this country. I want to seize the opportunity to thank the party leadership, especially uh, the chairman of our great party, Senator Abdullah Adamu, who is given leadership in these very hard times as well, and the remaining members of the National Working Committee and the entire executive. So also the party leadership in Bombay. But very, very importantly, I want to thank those that are on the cabinet, my colleagues, the commissioners, advisors, and teachers, and all the civil servants that have worked with me in these last three years to produce a result that has convinced the people of Bombay State, and especially the followership of the APC for the work we are doing. And I want to assure each and every one of us that this important uh, important stage that we reach, the milestone we reach, during which now you confirm and affirm my nomination for contest in 2023, will give me the inspiration, the courage, to face the difficult, difficult task ahead. And together with you, I guarantee you and assure you that we shall walk and fight and come back to the government house on May 2023. I'm convinced beyond doubt that the people of Bombay State are really very supportive and are ready to go with us because we've worked hard enough to achieve all that we've mentioned to do, virtually all and even beyond what we mentioned to do in our manifesto. And we're working in accordance with the guidance and perseverance of the leadership of the people especially Mr. President and our great party. I would like to assure each and every one of us, especially our delegates here, that the effort and the support will not go in vain. I want to seize the opportunity to thank my uh, fellow party men for this wonderful support that they've been giving to me over the last three years. And I want to assure you that inshallah we shall continue in the same spirit and with the same determination to see that each and every one of us acknowledges and benefits from the efforts that we are making.